Welcome to Small Aid. We're making a new head to this basic bottle cork or wine plug, whatever you like to call it. I found these hardened wood pods on one of the trees on my way from work. I collected these and also worked with some brand new epoxy I bought. Uh, it's called a crystal clear epoxy. It's really really crystal. It's really really clear. I didn't desiccate it. I didn't vacuum it. I didn't do anything to it. It just took three days to harden and it was as clear as you can see it now with the exception of the bubbles here I can see because I forgot to fill these tiny pods with epoxy beforehand there is no bubble whatsoever so this is really really a good product if you want to do some casting of your own let me show you how I did this one this is a first for me I'm really pleased with how it came out I still didn't fully buff it but I like it as it is so let me know what you think let me know if you like the project and here we go we're in a different setup today guys and this is my large fume hood this is a hand built fume hood that is designed to suck air through the vent you can see over there and I can work in a safe area where I don't have to smell the fumes of whatever I'm working with the reason I'm showing you all this is because Basically, we're doing something with epoxy today, and I really, really don't like epoxy in terms of fumes and smelling it, not in terms of use. It's really, really a wonderful substance. I've been really wanting to turn epoxy on my lathe for quite some time, and the prices are a bit harsh. So, uh, I did find some 1.5 kilograms of epoxy from a distributor, a local distributor, because Delivering epoxy from eBay is expensive to say the least. So let me zoom you in closer and I'll show you what I mean. Well, uh, some time ago, like a week or two ago, I found this. There's a tree near, next to the train station where I take uh, my train to work every day. And these are really, really stiff. You can't break these really rock hard and lovely and if you if you're local to Israel you're welcome to contact me and I'll show you where to get more of these and we can give you some of those as well of course so feel free to ask I don't think we can transport them abroad because due to pests uh, moving through countries and so on but anytime we have these tiny cups and what I think I'll do is to pour and fix one of those in, into here and see how it goes while I turn it on the lathe. So let's get started. I have this epoxy, brand new, never been opened before. This is the hardener. We have a half a liter of hardener and one liter of epoxy resin. So first time I'm trying these, I've never used these before. Let me get some gloves on and we'll start doing some uh, actual work instead of talking. So we have two branches here, you can see from the two stems. We fit these tiny cups really, really nicely. So we'll just use those. So, uh, in order to use those, let me get a piece of paper. The guy at the store sold me this thing. This is, um, I'm not showing you the label on purpose because it does show the seller's name and I don't want to uh, publicize them. Although they're a really, really nice company, they have a really nice attitude. So, if you want to ask me who I got this from, just ask me, I'll be happy to answer. Uh, this is a primer for wood. You have to coat wood with it. So, let me try and find some sort of a brush, a tiny brush, and we can continue. In the meantime, I need to shake this really, really well. Okay, so let's open this. 
see what we got. Really? It's a liquid. They couldn't find a decent container? Like a bottle? Okay, this is... This is gonna go. Like so. This is more normal. I'd say there's a... It'll be hard to open that. The ratio is one to two, so two units of this and one unit of that. And what we'll do, we'll need to weigh everything. Welcome back. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a solid slug, old piece of epoxy, and it has the wood inlay. Now, to me, it's been not so long ago. For you, it's been a second ago, but this is something like two months, well, maybe a month old now. Well, don't know about you guys, but I'm wearing a full face mask. <laughs> I'm just being careful. Here, but this thing is holding nicely with the setup we built for it. So here we go. Wow, you just need a little bit of sanding, 
we just poke through here. So, I don't know if you can see that, but I can literally insert it in there. There we go. There's a small bubble of epoxy there inside, which I don't mind. All this does add, in my point of view, to the texture. Let me get cleaned up and we'll continue. Right. Well, that's it for now. I think um, that's the shape I wanted, so that's okay. It's really funny for me that even the um, imprinting of whatever the cup was meant to imprint was also embedded here, so that's how good this plastic epoxy is clear epoxy I'm really pleased with how easy it turned the uh, lathe motor didn't even heat up it was so easy for it so it's <laughs> definitely a bonus with this tiny lathe the shape I'm pretty set up with that all I need to do is sand off these ridges and before I do that I'm going to have to cover everything up I mean it. Completely cover it. I don't want any abrasives on my lathe whatsoever. I think there was a lathe here a second ago.
Sorry guys, camera died and I didn't know that. Off camera, I trimmed this. It used to be in there, like so. Right, so here's the project. I didn't, uh, didn't realize I was uh, running out of battery. <laughs> camera was running out of battery. So the next steps were done off camera. And this is the finished product. I could still buff it up because this is not really clear. But it's nice to see it. A bit opaque. And then you get to the wow factor on the side. So that's really nice. And this is already glued. I used clear weld. It's a fast setting epoxy. Like so. It's a nice tight fit. I'm pretty pleased with the result. One or two things left to be done. Uh, one is I want to uh, I want to sign it. I don't usually sign my work, but um, I think that would be nice. And second of all, um, I need to edit the video. <laughs> so that's something you want to see, obviously. So here we go. ST. Which is fine. A bit big for my taste, but it's great. So there we go. We got that done. <laughs> and I'm quite pleased. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I do hope this inspires you to make these projects. These are really, really cute. On second thought, if you do make these, do fill those up, those tiny cavities. And although it is cute to see a bubble here and there, for example, this is in the way, like over here and over here, and we got some of those too. But it, in all in all, this is a bit annoying. I may actually fill it up later on with some epoxy. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe colored epoxy. 
would be nice. Right? So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And have a nice day.